So usually when I'm working with my synthetic brushes, I use baby oil in this container. It's a locking container to um, clean my brushes. See, it's got a little scrubby thing down inside of it. Scrub your brushes. And then when it gets full of, or it gets too much of garbage in it, you just empty it. Scrape it out and start over. All right, so <clears throat> I want these two paintings that I'm working on in this series to match. Do I have a thumbtack lift? I've cleaned up my thumbtacks, and now I think I might have put them all away. Oh, and here's one. All right. So I shouldn't need this thumbtack. I shouldn't need this board at all today. This is just my reference photo. All right, so let's get... Let's start off uh, and just get this oil oiled down. So let's let's get a cup. And since I want these paintings to match, I'm going to use just straight linseed oil, regular linseed oil, instead of uh, this clear medium that I usually make. All right. I don't know. Let's see. I think I'll use this little brush right here. No, that's a round brush. I don't want a round brush. Um, these are these are all detail brushes, so I'll need those, but I don't need them right now. So I'll just use this filbert. A filbert is pretty much always my my go-to brush. All right, so let's just. You know, I think I'm just going to oil the whole thing in, and the reason for that, what's the matter with my brush here? Like I didn't get it clean enough last time or something. There we go. That's okay. Um, it's just to have an equal number of layers of product on the canvas. I don't really care that they're whether they're the same thickness as much as just make sure I have adequate coverage. I'm just hoping that, oh, you know what? It just dawned on me. I don't have the rest of my lights turned on. All right. Well, hang on a second. Let me get that done. Let me clean this brush first. Though. So we're just wiping it out in the baby oil. Now, if it had paint in it, I would want to wipe the paint out first and then put it in the baby oil and then wipe it out again. But in this case, I don't. All right, I don't know how many days it's been since I last used this paint, so hopefully it's still ready to go. We shall see. It's not, then we'll pause the video, and we'll make up some more, and then we'll go for it. All right, so we're going to start off with the flesh tone. That yeah, seems okay, I don't know. I don't know. It's a little thick, but I think it's okay. All right, so we're just going to kind of start off with, you know, right here around the eyes. I want this to be a thinner coat than that, really. But so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of put in the rest of this flesh tone. I don't usually do it that way, but what am I talking about? I don't usually do it that way. I, this is my second portrait, so I don't usually do it like I did last, very last time. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? All right. Okay, now I can tell already there's too much oil on this canvas, so we're just going to wipe this off a little bit. can't ever wipe too much off, but, and then we're going to do this again. We'll just go back to what we were doing. Right. I really wish I had more of a, there we go, that looks better. Yeah, see, it was just kind of streaky. It was too much, too slick. The canvas was too slick. Now 
Now we'll just go ahead and his face is relatively small. So we'll just, I mean, this whole painting is relatively small. This is only an 8 by 10 so we'll just go ahead and paint this in. Now we're not trying to cover up any of the underpainting. We're just glazing the first colors in over the top of this. We'll just kind of blend all this out. We'll add some more stuff to it later. Okay, now we don't want to go too much farther than this. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. All right. So I'm just going to wipe the brush out. I'm not going to have anything else too much to do with that for now. And we'll see. So now I keep picking up blue paint on my hands, and I, I don't have a clue where it's coming from. As you can see. What the heck? Where did that come from? I don't know. We'll try to figure that out before we get done. That's on my thumb. <laughs> okay, so the next step, we're gonna put the we're gonna work on the eyes, the whites of the eyes. We're gonna do that with a neutral gray. Because the whites of the eyes, you don't want to get too light too light in the beginning. So I used, the, I got a new little script, uh, not a script liner, but a, a little detail brush, little brown number two, brown brush. Should let me get in here a little closer with this detail. And this gray might have to be remixed. I oh, wouldn't might can take and cut that seal got a little bit of a, a seal over it, a skin on it. Let's see if we can, I don't need a lot of it today, so I hope I don't have to mix some more. There we go, that's better. And a little bit over here. Take some of this <coughs> shadow color. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to get the crease. I've got another one of these brushes over here somewhere. There it is. I'm going to use this brush just to wipe some paint away. Because I got, it's a little bit crooked. And we'll just kind of fix that. mess with that too much but looks okay we can apply the rest with some highlights in a little bit all right I'm not really trying to create any hairs here we're just kind of creating a stipple a little bit of a stipple for his eyelashes back to the crease Now, I think one of the things that's important to mention is um, there is a, at least with me, there's a tendency sometimes to add symmetry into some, a picture, into a portrait painting. I've done this with, with not really portraits, but other things, but I think it's really most important to don't do it in portraits. To don't try to add symmetry that's not there in the original picture, because I think, I think 
human nature, we, we kind of want to do that. And, and it just, I think it'll keep the person from looking like themselves. Okay. We'll fix the rest of that later with a highlight. All right. So let's see. Young fellow, his eyes are brown. So we'll go to burnt umber. Should have um, done the pupil, not the pupil. Um, let's pick up just a little bit of this blush color. They kind of. There we go. And now let's just pull that to the side a little bit with a little bit of this highlight color. Mm, so maybe I can get some highlight color. We're gonna, we're gonna struggle around with all these paints, I guess, today. Shadow on this side. Don't worry, that's just Axel. Axel and Mama, probably. Okay, now we got some shadow over here down this side of his face. A little bit more shadow. A little darker. There we go. And that shadow comes on down around his way. in a moment. There's some light pencil markings on here to show me where that stuff goes. Okay. Now we're just going to kind of blend this. Okay. All right. We got another. Oh, we missed this other ear. I can't, I can't miss these ears. Ow, man. I got my tray sitting a little bit farther out than usual and bang my elbow on it. Alright, now there's a little bit of shadow Okay. 
Let's put some of this blush into his ears a little bit, particularly up on this part. around this part and then some shadow to go with that and then some burnt umber to really kind of darken these clean this brush and we'll use it to blend. Now you know what, I think I'll just use a fan brush. I just want to clean up a little over parts where there's just some paint that doesn't need to go right now. So we'll just pull all this in a little bit tighter. All right. Now let's put his some titanium wipe. I don't need a lot today, just a teeny bit. I've got my colors pretty much on the board now is the same way they are with uh, the color wheel. So a couple of minor adjustments here and there, but it's a different paint order than what I've used for the last four years, so it takes me a little bit to kind of all right, let's go ahead and put the first indication of this in here. All right, I'll we'll clean that. And I'm also going to need some uh, ivory black to put the, set the pupils. So let me set those real quick while I'm thinking about it. set the pupil before I put the color in. That white. Alright, now let's set it back in there. There we go. Alright. We can only progress so far, you know, at a time with this, but we're going a little bit farther with this, I think. Let's go, let's pick up some of this highlight color. There's not much of this really out here, but this young lad is pretty pale. So I want to be sure I kind of get that in here. some of that down the nose. Alright, 
Now let's put some shadow back in there. Let's add some shadows. Uh, let's see. Let's kind of. Number. Well, I'll tell you what, before we do put burn number in there, let's put some this warmer shadow color in the nostril. And then put some burn number into the, like the darker part. So, yeah. All right. I'm not happy with that. So we're just going to take it off. Let's do it again. Let's just do it over. Clean the brush to you. Get some of this color out. All right, now we're going to need more. I 
it's going to kind of lighten on this side. So. The tendency to want to kind of freak out a little bit right here, but it's, it's okay. It's all good. As you start to use these Q-tips more, you'll get to where you can actually just kind of take off the top layer of paint and leave everything else laying there. And you'll like it when you get to that point. <laughs> I know I do. I know I have liked it. Now, let's put some... Let's put a little bit of warmth in the skin first. So we're just going to add some of this rose color in here a little bit. I'm going to mix that in with that gray to kind of warm it up a little bit. Okay, now. And then I'm going to add some darker. Got a lot of paint on there right now, so let's see. Let's clean this up a little bit right here, too. Here we go. Need a different Q-tip. See, we got some bright colors right there too that are going to come out of this. All right, so let's pick up the warm highlight. And I want that to kind of be out here more. strokes go this way. So all the contour of the neck instead of crosswise like that. Alright. Now let's there we go. Alright. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this paint off of this right here, off his chin. That's looking pretty good, I think. I want a little bit more. I'm going to need a little bit more of this warm highlight. I may have to mix some of that. I just don't think I'm going to get enough of it to. I want it to kind of like coming out here on his cheeks. A little bit. Yeah, you know, I think I'll probably save this part right here and until till the, the very final colors to um, 
you know, get the color that I'm looking for, I guess. Because I want this to be more highlighted down this way. And, and I don't have enough highlight color. Yeah, you know what? I'll just mix some. Let's get some. Where's my knife? I need some titanium white. I need some yellow ochre, which I have on the palette, to make this warm highlight. And then there's a little bit of a cool highlight as well that we'll add some to in a minute. But all right, so one part, two parts titanium white. Let's add one part. Yellow ochre. Let's see how that comes out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's a little too yellow, though. I think I'm going to add a little bit more titanium. on here though with the um, paint being so wet. Well, maybe. There we go. That works out pretty good. Alright, that'll work for right now I think. And then let's put a little bit of, of extra. I don't know, that might be a little bit too much. Let's just creases on that eye. So let's, let's get a big towel, clean this brush off. I think I'll do that with one of these smaller brushes, round brush. Probably shouldn't have thrown the paper down away, but I did it. This line here is just too dark, but we're gonna we're gonna try to go fix it in a second. It's not it's not that it's dark. It's just it's not very straight. I don't understand. I guess it's just not blended enough. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Drag it up out of the midst of where it was. There we go. All right, let's blend this just a little bit. Both of these. This one needs blending too. All right. I'm blending it kind of with the same brush I've got. I'm putting it on with. I don't know if that's good or bad. Y'all decide that for yourselves.
let's do this with a Q-tip. I think it'll work better. Here we go. All right. That looks pretty good. A little too much blue in here. Now I kind of want to round this. There we go. All right. Let's. Uh, Let's put a little bit of extra highlight, like right there. And across the top of the mouth. And then we'll have a little bit of shadow underneath the mouth. Should have done the teeth first, but we don't have a lot of teeth, and actually, there's no teeth in the in the original image. But I guess it's very dark in the corners and on this corner. Have. Actually, that's not even how that's supposed to be. Let's just all right, let's don't do it that way. Let's just, I know what the underpainting says, but let's just not even do it that way. Let's, uh, let's get the lips in here. There's no teeth in this picture, so I'm gonna paint this in. shape them out. Let's clean that off. Okay, that looks pretty horrible, don't it? All right. <laughs> oh, crap. Looks like you put on too much lipstick. All right, let's get this off. Ah. Clean cube tips only, please. That was dirty. All right, let's take our time. So, so this is, I've not had this problem, but I have had a similar problem. So we'll see if we can fix this. Oh, so there are some teeth in there. All right, so let's get it. Okay. So the teeth don't show up much, but they do show. So let's get, let's get the mouth done first, the lips. I 
like that. Okay, then there is a there is a shadow like right here. That goes in with this shadow. They say you learn more by working your way out of problems than you do by just having everything go really smooth. And if that's true, I must be the learningest cat on the planet. <laughs> for three days for this paint to dry up before I start. Okay. Let's come back and put some highlight on these teeth. Actually, some, probably some of this red on the gum line. Okay, we're probably gonna have to let that dry now before we can do anything else to it, just work it any further because it's just too much paint in there, unless we want to start all over again, which honestly, I really don't. All right, but I think what's missing here is another tooth and another tooth. And then maybe some I think we're going to wrestle that around too much anymore today. I want that kind of dry. That'll give us some freedom to do any other adjustments we want to do before we carry on. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching me. This is an experiment, of course, for me. I'm always doing things new. Hope you're enjoying the video. And uh, we come back next time. We'll start to tighten this up a little bit more. And uh, we'll do his hair and some of his clothes and maybe some of the background. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.